Hey there fellow creators, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of visual storytelling as we discuss composition and framing. It's time to so grab your cameras and let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the basic of cinematic composition and framing. These are essential guidelines that help us arrange the elements within our frames to create a visually pleasing and impactful shot. And in the words of Edward Wiston, good composition is merely the strongest way of seeing the subject. Composition is essentially the presentation of visual elements in a shot. Composition often sounds like a fancy term which simply explains what is present in the frame and where your subject focus is located, visually aimed at directing your viewer's attention to a specific point of interest. Every beautiful looking shot in some of your favorite all-time screen views were not created by accident or mere coincidence. If a composition is aesthetically pleasing to the sight, it's because those elements present in the shot have been pre-arranged in some detectable measures. And I'm going to begin with the rule of thirds. The rule of third is an essential compositional technique used to create a visually balanced and engaging shots. It is based on the principle of dividing your frame into a three by three grid, resulting in nine equal parts. The idea is to position your subject or key elements along these grid lines or at their intersection point. It adds balance and visual interest to your shots. Either by offsetting your dominant object or subject by one third, you make room for negative space that can draw your viewer's attention or their eyes to the subject. Here are some of our all-time favorite movie references pointing out the rule of thirds. In the movie Gladiator, this scene shows where Maximus reveals his identity to Commodus in the Colosseum and it showcases a classic use of the rule of third. Maximus stands at one of the power points of the grid, drawing attention to his character as he deviantly faces Commodus. And in the movie La La Land, in the opening scene, the dancer on the Los Angeles highway were positioned along the lines of the grid, creating a visually striking and well-balanced shot that captures the magic and energy of the film. Now here is my pop quiz to you. Which of this frame follows the rule of third? Please answer in the comment section. Now next to the rule of triangle, the rule of triangle is the basic concept of three reference points, probably the most present in frames. The rule of triangle involves positioning key elements of the shot along imaginary diagonal lines that connect different elements within the frame, creating a sense of movement and direction. The rule of triangle aims to create a harmonious and visually appealing composition, revealing two anchor points and one offsetting adjacent point creatively giving your frame a specific blocking that creates this anchor point either with one single character or multiple characters. In the movie Godfather, in the iconic baptism scene, the shots were structured to perform triangular compositions as Michael Colon renounces Satan during the baptism ceremony. The scene cuts through various locations and the character's position in each shot creates triangular patterns, emphasizing Michael's ascent to power and his renouncement of his previous life. The role of symmetry is a fundamental principle in cinematography. It involves arranging elements within the frame in a way that creates perfect or near perfect reflection and balances on either side of an imaginary central axis. This axis is typically the vertical or horizontal center of the frame, creating a sense of equilibrium symmetrical composition. And it can convey a sense of order, stability, and harmony. And they are often used to create visually striking and aesthetically pleasing shots. Filmmakers use symmetry to evoke specific moods, emphasize certain subjects, or convey a sense of completeness and order. Now we're going to speak about one of my favorites, which is frame within a frame. This is a versatile technique that can be used creatively to enhance various cinematic themes and moods. It adds a layer of sophistication to the shot and showcases the cinematographer's artistic eye for composition. This technique involves using existing elements within your frames, like windows, doorways, or arc foliage like the grasses, or any other physical structure in the shots. 
adding layers of visual interest to create a natural frame around your subject. Director Wes Anderson often uses frame within a frame, which is his favorite in his films. Grand Budapest Hotel and Asteroid City are amongst the many movies he has shot. And now we're going to talk about the golden ratio, which can be called the golden spiral, also known as the divine proportion of phi. Or if you would want to impress folks using the term Fibonacci spiral, it is a mathematical concept found in nature, art and architecture. It's the simplest form. It's connecting your points of interest at the top coordinates of the rule of thirds by dividing your frame using a golden ratio. This means the main subject or focal point is positioned at one of the critical points of intersection, creating a visually balanced composition. Remember, using this rule naturally creates a look room and lead room in the frame and can make a character appear closed off or inviting. Another fantastic compositional technique that is a fundamental building block of composition is leading lines. They are actual or implied lines within the scene that naturally leads the viewer's gaze from one point of the frame to another, creating a sense of flow and visual direction. Leading lines helps to establish a visual pathways adding depth or dynamism to the shots and enhancing the overall storytelling. Leading lines are natural elements that can be seen around us like roads, rivers, landscape, hallways, or even man-made structures to create this effect, either vertically, horizontally, diagonals, or curved lines. And you can also use leading lines to pull the eyes in certain directions. Certainly, here are some movie scenes that effectively demonstrate the use of leading lines. Blade Runner 2049, throughout the frame, the new lit streets and building of the futuristic cityscape provide numerous examples of leading lines that emphasizes the vastness and complexity of the urban environment. Also in Mad Max, Fury Road, in the high octane chase scene throughout the desert, the long and winding road, as well as the vehicle paths, forms leading lines that adds a sense of movement and urgency to the action-packed sequences. And that's a wrap, folks. We've explored some exciting composition and framing techniques today. These guidelines are tools to unleash your creativity and tell better stories through visuals. So go out there, experiment, and have fun capturing stunning shots. If you've enjoyed this video and found it educational, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the notification bell and stay updated with our upcoming content. Until next time, improvise.